My cat is attacking a lampshade. This is my life! Hello humans, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited tonight because I got a box. I want to unbox it. My Morty Kathleen Lights palette came in the mail today. And I figured, since I have not seen the palette, I have not swatched the palette, I haven't even seen the packaging because it's still in this box, we could unbox it together and take a look at it and see how it is. Now, I jumped online probably the minute these went on sale, and I was lucky to get one because they have sold out. From watching Kathleen's videos, it looks like she's in talks with Morphe to possibly release do a re-release of it. It's a limited edition, so I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm pretty excited to have one. Let's open it and let's get into it. So, box, scissors. I'm gonna cut myself open. All right, the box is open. It has squishy green bubble wrap in it. <gasps> and there it is, oh my God. Here we have my Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And it comes, it comes really well wrapped. Like there's, it was in bubble wrap, it's in more bubble wrap but it just slides out and it's beautiful matte black and it says Morphe Kathleen Lights. Oh, wow. And there it is. There it is. It's still got the plastic over it. It is 15 shades. There are seven and a half, <laughs> seven and a half matte shades. I'll, I'll give it seven and a half because this one looks like it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seven glitter shades the color that made me really really want this palette is this one down here it is i've never seen anything like it it is brilliantly emerald green i'm excited to sort of see all of them and i'm just going to swatch a couple of them so we've got and that's that's just very lightly like i'm barely touching this and look how pigmented that's coming up black black is Black's a little bit light, but I bet you could build it. But the rest of these, I mean, look at that. I am in love with this, and I can't wait to do the sip and paint. So sip and paint is going to sort of be the premise of um, <laughs> the sip and paint parties you go to, where you drink wine and you paint. However, instead of however instead of painting on a canvas I'm going to be painting on my face and I'm going to be using tutorials from other youtubers from the internet and just seeing how I could how I do because again I'm not a makeup artist makeup fanatic but I think it could be fun so let me know if it's something you like if you want to see more and definitely subscribe so that you can keep getting the sip and paints so I have oh god my bottle of Pinot Grigio I have my fishy glass you see the fishies I have my fishy glass and we are going to break this open, have a glass or two, and we'll come back and do some painting. So we just rewatched the videos and it really shows Marie eye makeup. So I'm going to take off, well, when she started, which I guess makes sense. Oh God, <laughs> one glass, giant glass, this is no good. Um, I'm going to take off my mascara. I'm also going to have my second glass of the vino and my last glass. This is my last glass of the vino, but the second glass of the vino. The next time you see me, I shall be putting the makeups on my face. Bye. Hello humans! Welcome back! I am two glasses of wine into it. I am actually remembering to look at the camera instead of the viewfinder. And I am ready to start the sip and paint part of the evening. I've had my wine, I have my palette. Aww. In her video, she starts her look with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Enigma. I have original. I don't think it matters that much, so we'll just give it a shot. Ooh. If you see me looking over here, it's because where I have stuck the iPad. And what I'm gonna do, because I'm not fancy at video editing, is... is <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna watch her video um, I'm gonna try to pause it and then do the thing this is me figuring out what I'm doing in real time I did not plan this clearly but um, here's to us 
taking this journey together. Oh, I just got a mouthful of hair. Aww. Of note, as promised, I have taken off my eye makeup. I'm gonna try to remember to sit up straight and stay in frame. It's a thing. Really bad at it. But, um, so, yeah. I've had us here when I'm looking this way. Mira is here. You are here. We are friends. It'll be great. Let us go forth and sip and pint. Sip. Paint. Okay, so she starts with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. She says it uses Enigma. I have the original. And she puts it all over her eye. So we're gonna do that. Oh god, I got, I got it in my eyelash. This is not a good start. So far, so good. Okay, real time review. This powder is decent. Kicks up a lot of powder, it goes on well. Oh no, I don't know if you can, no you can't see that. As I brush it, I get a smoke cloud of powder. This kicks up a ton of dust. Hi guys. What you give is to take this peachy orange shade on a fluffy crease brush, check and check. Kicks, oh my god. Ah, it kicks up so much dust. Like, it's good color payoff, but like, half the dust is in the dang pan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Okay. I'm finding this is really, and you guys probably can't see it. You know what? I caught the, <laughs> my fingernail caught this one and I swiped it everywhere. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good at all. It won't come off. There it yeah, is. Sort of okay. It blends out beautifully. Like the color just, like very powdery, but that's becoming an asset on the eye. It is blending out amazingly. And I'm not like just saying that. It's going ugh, everywhere. Hi, I sip and paint is a thing, but it's it's pretty. And I quote, she takes this little mustard fella right here. Hello, little mustard fella. Look at that though. Look at that. It just comes up so well. I don't like this one. It goes, it's super crumbly. There's a ton of fallout. It's beautiful, but it's everywhere. That's all fallout, do you see that? All that fallout. Fallout, fallout. I grab just my big elf powder brush and just That away. So let's see how this blends. This blends pretty well. Go Kathleen Lights. You picked good shadows. What I'm having to oh the shadow literally literally crumbled when I put my brush in it. Literally every brush stroke, there's powder going everywhere. I cannot even right now. She used a gel eyeliner. I don't have a gel eyeliner. Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to use my favorite liquid liner, which is the LA Colors. 
from the dollar store, still love this, and just do, she does a straight line with a simple wing, so we're gonna do that. I do not have a green gel eyeliner for my waterline. I have a liquid eyeliner or I have, I can't find it. I haven't put it. No, that's not good. Oh, no, no. I had it in my hand a second ago. I'll be right back. I go find it. Found it. Okay, so she uses a green gel liner on her waterline. I don't have a green gel liner, so I'm gonna use this. And then I'm gonna like dab over it with the doesn't look very pigmented, does it? With the bright green. But we're gonna try it. So there is my NYX white liner. And what we're gonna do is using just a little tiny brow brush, go back into this bright green, which is crumbling. It's crumbling everywhere, guys. Like, really crumbly and just and tap it in there. And that works surprisingly well. I got it in my eye. But there you go. If I fuck it up, I just keep blending. See? Ooh, okay. More. More. Oh, she does the bottom lashes too. This is not my forte. It's not gonna go well. corner highlight with the, the super shade. I'm scared. It doesn't go on super intensifying for me. Let me really get some on here. Is that? Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Okay, that is. Then she adds false lashes, false lashes. Ooh, what have I done? That was my lash glue. Let's try that again. I did not do a great job applying glue. Yet. 45 seconds. Let us put on the first lash. Oh yeah, that didn't work. No. We're gonna try that again. Add more glue! I'm gonna say I did a better job with the glue this time. But in the meantime, let's try this other lash out. That's a little better, right? That's a lot better. Does it look even? I can see them, it's kind of freaking me out. I guess they sort of look even. And I really, I really love this liner. It's so soft and it just goes on so easily.
gosh, okay. Can't really. I feel like my lip. Yeah, my lash is coming up on this side. So then she goes on to finish her face. My face is already done. So this is what we've ended up with. I'm not entirely sure how this looks, but I don't I don't think it did it. My eyelashes are fucking look at that. Wah, wah. I'm not taking it off and putting it on again. Just gonna try to stick it back down. Okay, the eyelashes are coming off, sorry. They had it good. Maybe. This was a terrible decision. Ah, oh, I didn't even touch that shade. How did that get ruined? I didn't even touch this shade and it's... I like want to have a good looking closing shot of this for you guys and I just... I just don't. I don't need to tell you what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. That's why you're watching the video. Mm-hmm. Forget that. Ooh, I'm flailing everywhere. I can't math. Close enough. Right? Sort of? Maybe? I'm okay with that. It's gorgeous.